My name is Elena Banks. And my name is Dustin Howard. And this is WJAGTV TV with Eureka School, School News. News. Michael Gabriels is an 11th grader here at Cedar Shoals High School, Raider and dedicated JRTC student. His family also owns a bed and breakfast and a horse farm. We went to his house to get a closer look and to see how he helps run the family business. My name is Michael Gabriels. I'm in the 11th grade. The name of the bed and breakfast is The Colonels. And the reason why it's named that, it was founded by my father and my mother. They're both retired colonels. So the great perks of having a bed and breakfast in the back of your yard is that you can get food if you really need it. So like if I run out of bread, I can run to the other side and get some food if I need to get it. And we get out of eggs, so I go to the other side. And um, another benefit from being next to a bed and breakfast is that I can observe my father working and I can tell for the future what I can use for those skills. I don't really do a lot for the bed and breakfast. I only do things if I have to. So like planting stuff, such as plants or flowers or stuff like that, or working around the yard, or put some wiring in the lights and stuff like that. Hi there all. So I'm Colonel Mark and uh, together with my wife, Colonel Beth, we own the Colonel's Bed and Breakfast. That's obvious, isn't it? And the best is we share it with our guests. That's the best. The guests, they are the best. And they love the infrastructure, but also the furniture. The furniture comes from, Michael knows this, from Chateau Salmonsard. That's where Michael was born. So you want to share that with them. So the bed and breakfast, yeah, we have seven rooms. All different. All different furniture. We make them nice breakfast, of course, southern breakfast. I have to tell you one, one secret, I don't like southern food. But uh, I make them a mixture of Flemish food with southern food. And my wife was born in Philadelphia, so we make them a mixture of Pennsylvania stuff. So the horse farm is, I do a lot more work for that. Every day there's always something to do. I have to feed the horses sometimes, I have to put them out, I have to bring them back in. I have to clean up the pastures, put shavings in the stalls. Sometimes, you know, but sometimes I get lucky and maybe do a lesson with the horses, maybe learn how to ride them now and then. And um, just, you know, taking care of animals it gives me responsibility, so that's pretty good. Interacting with the horses is fun too. Just ride around them, around the property. Okay. To go on the horse trails and the forest, stuff like that. The Georgetown Shopping Center has opened a new comic book store. Here's Henry with the inside scoop. Mr. Comic Shop is a local comic store located on 1860 Barnet Shoals Road and is a great place for both new and old comic enthusiasts to get their favorite comic book series as well as read some they might not have heard of. Mr. Comic Shop opened this March, having moved from a previous location in Watkinsville. We are a full service comic store, um, new releases every Wednesday at 11 o'clock. We also sell back issues and comics related things. I started reading comics before I can remember going to school or reading anything else. I've always loved comic books. Um, I can't even remember the first comic I read because I've always read them. Honestly, I just grew up loving them and reading them constantly. Um, comic books are, are really how I learned to read. Um, I wasn't reading anything. I was like eight years old that my, my teachers gave me and my mom was trying to, to put all these things in front of me to read. Uh, so finally she, she gave me some comic books. She put some comic books in front of me and I, I just 
ate them up um, and, and read them all, and, and that's how I really started reading and moved on to, to fiction novels and science fiction and, and fantasy novels. So comics are really how I got my started my start reading the things that, that weren't school assigned. I've been reading comics ever since I was like ten. Um, they've always been like a really good way for me to sort of escape from stuff, and they're just so cool to look at too. You know, especially like the combination of like visual and narrative storytelling really. I've found appealing. Uh, I've lived a, a bunch of places in my life, um, and this is the, the best comic book shop I've ever I've ever shopped at. Uh, the selection, uh, the way that John the owner orders books, um, he, he seems to always have enough, um, and he seems to have a good mind for uh, when something's coming out that's going to be really cool. Um, he can he seems to be able to anticipate those really good books and, and get enough in so that if you're looking for it, you're, you're probably going to find it there. And, and that's not always been the case at, at other comic book shops that I've, I've shopped at. A lot of times you deal with shortages. Um, he's really into to getting his customers the, the, the books that they want um, right into their hands so they can read them, which is, is awesome. Yeah, I went in there and it was I was blown away. It was fantastic because it was like wall-to-wall -wall comics and it was just so cool because you know, there are not a ton of comic shops in Athens, and not one this close, especially. Um, and just seeing that really was, like, awesome. Um, it was really cool. Every year on the first Saturday of each May, there's something called Free Comic Book Day. It's an international event now. But uh, that is a great day to come by your local comic store and see what's going on, because you can sort of sample a lot of different things for free. Um, Beyond Free Comic Book Day, I would say just don't worry too much about not knowing the history of the X-Men or the Avengers or something. Just pick up a comic and read it, and if you like it, you can always find out what happened beforehand. But go to a comic store <laughs> would, be my, would be the first thing I'd say. I would say start in the, the media center here at school um, for, for Marvel and DC stuff. And if you really like uh, what you're reading, if you like the medium, the you know the reading the story with the art, if, if that fascinates you and you're into it, um, or you want to start collecting single issues, um, then expand out and, and give Mr. Comic Book Shop a try and, and try some of the stuff that's not Marvel and DC, uh, some of the things that are a little more obscure. Uh, you'll be able to find something that, that is, is enjoyable to you, um, that fits with the genre you like. This is Henry Vensel reporting. Hope will be hosting a Zuma dance fundraiser this Friday on the 14th in the band room here at Cedar Shoals starting at 6.30. Let's show up and show our support. Uh -huh. Dr. Patel? Thank you. I graduated. I wonder what it says inside. Hello. I've lost all my library books. So this is for you. Thank you. But you still have to turn in all your library and textbooks by May the 12th in order to graduate. My name is Dustin Howard. And I'm Elena Banks. And, and this, this has been WJGTV with your weekly school news. news.